Hello everyone. Um, this morning I have an ultrasound. It is my first ultrasound in my current pregnancy. I'm filming in a parking garage and there's a garbage truck. So I'm sorry if you hear those noises in the background. <sighs> there's a lot I have to say right now. Um, there's a lot I would like to say, but I'm super nervous, like incredibly nervous. And I mean, my hands are shaking and I can smell this sweaty smell that happens when I'm really nervous. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm just going to go into the doctors and do the scan. And I will tell you more after I get the scan. There's a baby. There's a baby in the right spot. And that is all I can say at this exact moment in time. It is so early, like way too early to even get a scan. Um, but I got a scan based on my history and my doctor's recommendations. And there's a baby. I actually ovulated from the same side as I did when I had um, my last pregnancy, the pregnancy of an unknown location, the suspected ectopic pregnancy. Uh, and I knew I ovulated from the left because I could feel it. And I asked the uh, ultrasound technician to confirm. Um, and everything looks good. I mean, it's so incredibly early. I, ah, I need to just take this in. I have another appointment in about 15 minutes with the doctor or a different doctor because my doctor is out of town. So I have like a follow up in 15 minutes. Um, there was like a weird gap in between my ultrasound and the follow up. So I just wanted to get a breakfast burrito and pr process what's happening. And there's a baby. This is totally a lunch that my mom would make me when I was a kid. Grilled cheese, fruit, maybe some soup. Yeah, I'm 12 and a half weeks pregnant. I really debated on whether or not I wanted to share this with the internet ever. I feel like it's another situation where I either kind of live a secret life and feel really disconnected from my audience and from my content, or I'm just honest about what's happening and I kind of submit to the unknowns of pregnancy, uh, which is really difficult for me. Uh, I just like to know what's going on at all times in my body and with pregnancy. I mean, there are so many unknowns, you just can't know everything. I'm trying to find a good balance between trusting my doctors and continuing to be monitored and also just going with the flow and trusting my body. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of it, but it is challenging at times. And uh, I'm sorry, am I like really far from the camera? Hopefully you guys can hear what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm progressing into my pregnancy. In like a week, I will be entering the second trimester. And I'm hoping that it's a little bit more smooth than the first trimester, which was uh, very different than my first trimester with Honor. A lot of nausea, a lot of heartburn, like taking Tums every day, and just like a lot of food aversions and feeling kind of under the weather. <sighs> I'm sure you guys have like questions about how I am even this far into a pregnancy after just experiencing a loss and actually the termination of a pregnancy in January. Uh, if you've been following my content, then you know. If not, you can go back into my videos and rewatch that. I'm going to explain the timeline a little bit later. Tonight is the first night in, I don't know how long, over a year and a half that I am going out to eat with a friend. Um, so it's the first time I'm going out to dinner since having a kid, uh, besides with Nick and Honor. And I thought I would like get ready with you guys and, uh, and then chat about this pregnancy and what's been going on. So um, yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm gonna get ready for my 5.30 p.m. dinner. Um, I took a shower earlier and these are all of my like hairs growing back from uh, having my first kid. You can see it's like, I mean, Honor is a year and a half old and like my hair is just growing back. It's probably like six inches long, but it's really curly. So yeah, um, I thought I would take you through <laughs> the get ready with me process. 
I'll show you my little baby bump. Um, I'm definitely sh starting to show a lot sooner than I did with Honor. I don't know if you guys have even been in this bathroom, but this is like our guest room and where we give Honor a bath. And this is the little baby bump that's happening at 12 and a half weeks. Um, when I wake up in the morning, it looks a bit smaller. And then as the day progresses, it looks larger. And then at nighttime, I honestly look full on pregnant. Oh, the other really undesirable side effect of the first trimester is that I have horrible acne. Um, it's always kind of hard to see the type of acne I have unless you're in like natural lighting because mine is like very small kind of comedonal acne, but like I have bad acne right now. My skin is so oily. My forehead is like really, really broken out. I want to show you what I'm doing for skincare. I just opened a new package from Curology. Um, today's video is sponsored by Curology. I was not going to make this a sponsored video, but I wish that I knew when I was pregnant previously that I could use Curology through pregnancy um, because I suffered so badly with acne in the first trimester and I didn't know there were any safe acne products to use in pregnancy at all. So I just totally discontinued the use of like everything I had been using. Um, and then when I contacted my Curology provider, my provider told me that I could continue using Curology and they could change my formula so that it did not contain any ingredients that were contraindicated in pregnancy. Um, and I wish, yeah, I wish I had known that before. My skin right now is not great. I mean, it's breaking out, but if you compare how my skin looks now to how my skin looked in the first trimester with Honor, it is considerably, considerably better this time around. So this is usually what I get every month from Curology, the cleanser, the moisturizer, the custom formula, um, their sunscreen, which I live for. And I also get um, a lip balm. I really like that too. Right now, I'm keeping it so simple. I'm really just using their cleanser in the morning and the night, a tiny, tiny bit of moisturizer. I do use the sunscreen if I go outside during the day. It does not exacerbate my acne at all. Um, like it doesn't make it worse. And I've been using the custom formula maybe once a week because if I use it more than that, my skin can get, it's just, I don't know, it's just really reactive right now. By the way, check out this dinosaur wallpaper that Nick let me put up in the bathroom. <laughs> It's so cute. I'm not gonna lie, he does not love it, but I think it's I think it's really cute for like a kid's bathroom and the guest bathroom. Anyways, if you guys are interested in trying Curology out, there will be a link in my description box below. I am such a huge advocate for their products. They just really work for my skin. Yeah, try them out. Uh, okay, so I'm going to wash my face and put a tiny bit of moisturizer on. And then I'm going to try to do something with my hair. I feel like my hair is a lost cause. Um, it's really very curly now, which is why it looks frizzy because I brush it out. But I've gone through periods of like weird, crazy hair loss, not just from childbirth, but also from thyroid issues. And I'm lucky to still have any hair on my head. And in fact, I kind of have a lot of hair, but the texture of it is quite fine. So washing my face. Okay, when I was a kid, my hair was like wavy. I had, I did have a couple of curls like around this area. And then as a teenager, it was more straight than it was wavy. Not completely straight, but nothing like this. Um, and that's probably because I was on hormonal birth control for so many years. I think it really changed the texture of my hair. And then when I went off of it as an adult, like after being on it for so long, my hair just went totally wild and it's like gone through a bunch of weird phases ever since. I guess as my hormones have fluctuated. Definitely nervous about like what's going to happen after baby number two. I could just like lose all my hair or something, I don't know. But uh, I mean, you know what? It's just hair. It is true, it's just hair. And my babies are definitely worth it. Even if I lost all of my hair, they would be worth it. It's weird when you have all this regrowth too that's really curly because it does not blend in. Okay, so after I do the very small amount of straightening that I do, I use a little bit of hair oil. And then if I braid it, then later it will be way less frizzy. Okay, so now I can just hang out with my hair in a braid for the next couple hours. I will throw on an outfit for my dinner 
uh, and I will come back. I'm gonna give Nick a little bit of a break. He's been watching Honor all day today. Um, he actually just got back from Miami. He was gone for a trip and he's been working so, so, so much. And it's hard to not like ever get a break for both of us, you know? He works and I take care of Honor a lot. <clears throat> it's really hard to find a balance for both of us between working and being parents and then also spending time with each other. But we're trying to, we're trying to be better about it. It is five o'clock. I'm about to leave to go get dinner. This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> this is my last pair of jeans that fits me. They're like a size up from what I usually wear. Um, but they're really getting tight in the waist. I need to find cute clothes to wear in pregnancy because when you feel sick and nauseous and stuff, I feel like if you at least get ready and put an outfit on, you kind of feel a little bit better. And I am not good at doing that at all. But I feel like I look kind of cute. I did try to cover up my acne and I feel like, I almost feel like with this type of acne, when you put makeup over top of it, it looks worse because it emphasizes kind of the texture. I know for sure it's going to definitely improve a lot in the second trimester at some point. I can't remember how long it was in my pregnancy with Honor, but at some point my skin got significantly less oily. And then I got this semi-pregnancy glow. Um, at least my acne resolved a lot. So I'm really hoping that happens, that happens again. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna go eat dinner. First time in like, one and a half to two years that I'm going out to dinner and leaving my child at home. Wish me luck. Hello guys, um, as usual, uh, it's days later. <laughs> you know how I operate um, at this stage of my life on YouTube. Uh, tomorrow I am going to be 13 weeks pregnant, which feels like a really big milestone, kind of like really nearing the end of the first trimester. And uh, I don't know, this pregnancy has been full of ups and downs, like emotionally. When I started filming this video, I envisioned kind of taking you through the whole timeline of what happened since my last pregnancy in January. And uh, I feel like I often will just give these long explanations. They're often very detailed and, and I know, <laughs> in some ways that can be really helpful to other people going through the same thing. But I also feel like sometimes my brain is in overdrive. It's just so overly analytical and sometimes I'm justifying things in my life or just over explaining things. I like sharing things with you guys, but I feel like right now I just need to relax and think as positively as I can. Um, the Reality is that this pregnancy has been difficult for me. Um, I think I've had a lot more fears than I have in the past and it's not like I have a bad feeling at all because that's not the case. In fact, I feel intuitively like my baby is okay um, and like everything is all right. But I, I kind of live in this place where I am just anticipating something bad happening because that has happened in the past. So it's almost like I don't wanna get my hopes up or I don't wanna let myself get too excited or too attached when you know anything can happen. And that's just kind of the nature of a lot of things in life. Um, they're just out of our control. We have to accept them as they come um, for better or for worse. So I'm really trying to lean into that feeling. And uh, all I can say is that so far things are going pretty well. Yeah, 13 weeks pregnant, the baby's growing really well, I'm moving a ton. I mean, every time I have an ultrasound and I've definitely had more than the average person has had at this point in the pregnancy. Um, I don't know how many I've had, just like a small handful, but um, I've seen the baby a bunch and yeah, things are going well. So I'm just going to continue to stay positive. Uh, I kind of didn't want to go into this topic, but I will quickly touch on it and say that I did get pregnant immediately after my loss in January, which um, went against my doctor's recommendations and was not intended. It wasn't like it wasn't like I was trying to really avoid it, but it, I wasn't tracking and planning to get pregnant immediately afterwards. And because it happened so quickly, um, it also really made me worry about just what the outcome would be. I feel like I 
couldn't even accept that the pregnancy could possibly happen when I first got a positive pregnancy test. Um, it wasn't like a super exciting thing. Um, when I took a test and it was positive, I felt, I honestly felt like it was just gonna be another loss. Like, my brain was just, I guess, maybe trying to protect me from disappointment or sadness, but I didn't really feel excited because I just thought, okay, well, this it's the same thing might happen again. Um, and, and then I kind of led myself to believe that it was happening again in the beginning of my pregnancy. Once the pregnancy started to progress a bit more, I did feel like, okay, this is something that is actually happening, but I have not been able to fully, fully, fully relax, I think, continuously. Um, I'm not stressed out or like anxious all the time. I'm not freaking out, um, but I'm looking forward to just maybe relaxing a bit more. And I don't know when that will be. Uh, I keep telling myself, you know, like after this scan, I'll, I'll be able to relax. Or after this blood test, I'll be able to relax. Um, but I still don't have that feeling where I'm like fully able to relax. And I, maybe that just won't happen this pregnancy. Uh, I was really able to kind of find a sense of peace when I was pregnant with Honor and I'd like to get to that place again. So hopefully, hopefully I can. I will keep you guys posted and, and I will be sharing a lot more about this pregnancy now that I've chosen to share <laughs> the fact that I'm pregnant. Uh, and I'll probably talk about certain things more in depth in future videos. Um, I don't wanna make this video super long it already is, uh, but I don't wanna go off on tangents as I usually do. Um, I just wanna spend the rest of the night um, like watching Desperate Housewives, drinking tea, and honestly, I had the best dinner. Sorry, I'm going off on tangent, but anyways, I haven't been as nauseous. So this makes me feel like at least uh, the second trimester may be a bit easier in, in terms of like food, indigestion, crossing my fingers, knocking on wood. Okay, yeah, sorry, tangent. Um, I hope you guys are all having a good night. I hope that any anyone out there who is wanting to start a family um, is not discouraged by this video or another pregnancy announcement. I know sometimes when you're in the midst of trying to start your own family, it might be disappointing to see other people's pregnancy announcements. I do think that for the most part, for the most part, Things do happen in time, and I don't, I'm not making a generalization. I'm not trying to say things to upset people. I'm just saying that uh, a lot of times our bodies just work the way that they're going to work. Um, things don't always happen instantly. Sometimes there are ups and downs along the way. Um, but if you're going through anything with a fertility journey, I wish you the best. Like, you are my sisters. I love you. Um, and I hope that anyone who really wants to start a family is able to do that. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in my next video and I will talk to you then.